2,000 years ago, it was a Friday night. Not very different from tonight. See him, if you would, hanging, like the old church says, between an angry God Mama. and a sinful man. Yeah, yeah. See him, if you would, hanging. Hanging. Between two thieves. Well. And my Bible tells me that as his lifeblood oozes out, mm -hmm. as he is turning pale and cold, yeah. mm -hmm. death being imminent, hmm. the end being certain, well. he has something finally <laughs> to say about himself. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. It's John chapter 19. Yeah. I just want to lift verse 28 where it says after this because so much had already happened yeah, yeah. Jesus knowing that all things were now accomplished mm -hmm. that the scriptures might be fulfilled saith I thirst alright alright Talk, John. Talk. Just for a few minutes, I want to talk about on, a Savior's down. thirst. Right. A Savior's thirst. And I solicit your prayers. We encounter Jesus Christ here now on the cross. Yes. Huh? It's such a strange thing to look at him and to know him. To see one so loving, so adoring in such an awkward position. Yes, sir. But the record is he is on the cross trying to fix what man has messed up. The record is he's trying to arrange it so that we can again be on speaking terms with God. Mama! And in the midst of trying to rearrange what we've undone, Jesus finds himself at a moment where he cries out, I thirst. Come on, Reverend. Come on, Reverend. What is he doing in his cry? One of the things he is doing in his cry is proving to us that he understands his role as the Savior. Yeah. Yes, proving to us that he is indeed a student of the word and he is fulfilling the scripture that is written where the psalmist in 69 verses 20, 21, and 22 <coughs> talks about how when the Savior comes, yeah. yes, sir. there's going to be a point in time where he's going to have to thirst. And not only is he going to have to thirst, the record is they're going to have to give him vinegar. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. So while he was looking for an exit, while he was Preach, trying John. to find a way from earth to heaven, yeah. he was... Finding the time to make sure he had crossed every T. Yeah. <laughs> in every eye. Yeah. So he yeah. cries out, I thirst. thirst. Yes, sir. Fulfilling the scripture, but more than just fulfilling the scripture, the Bible shows that in crying out, I, will th I thirst, he shows that he is at once fully God. Yes, sir. Fully God. But he also shows at the same time he's fully man. Come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on Doc. Because man is a needy creature. Yeah. Yeah. Soon as he's born, he begins to cry because he's in need. Yeah, man. He cries when he needs to eat. He cries when he needs to be changed. He cries when he falls down because man is a creature in need. My Lord, my Lord. Wow. So when we encounter Jesus Priest on John. the cross, he's showing us he's fully man and fully God, but he shows us he's in need. Yeah. Come on, yeah. Yeah. Seems to be out of order that the Savior of the world with unlimited power, the one who can summon legions of angels, yes, seem that he should never be in need. Yeah. Seems like whatever he needs, God should be able to provide. And yet on the cross, on the cross, Reverend, we see him in need. Yes, sir. <laughs> But Bible readers are not dismayed. <laughs> Bible readers know his whole ministry was about need. Yeah. Yeah. Bible readers know that in Luke 2 and 7, there was a time that he needed to be born. Yeah. And the Bible declares there was no room in the end. Yeah. Yeah. 
Luke goes on to show him in need. Chapter 9, verse 58, he says that birds of the air have that. Come on, yeah, yeah. foxes of the ground have holes, yeah. but the Son of Man have has no place. nowhere to lay his head. And he's on, off to him like need him. when he was there standing before a crowd of thousands. Yeah. Come on, come on. He realized that the thousands needed to be fed. And so in John 6 and 5, he said, Well, can we buy bread yeah. that these mighty eat? He goes on in God. need when the time had come to celebrate the Passover in Mark 14 and 14. He said, Go find a man bearing a pitcher of water. And when you find him, tell him, I need a place to have the Passover. His life is filled with need. He goes on. He, he goes on to show us down in Matthew 21 and 3 when the time had come. Yeah. For him to be exalted, for him to be celebrated, he didn't have a beast of birth. Mama! So he sent his boys in town and said, you'll find a donkey and a colt. Yeah, yeah, when you find them, bring them to where I am. And when you bring them to where I am, if he asks you, tell them the master has John. He goes on, he goes on, he goes on to show a ministry in need. Down in the text, he shows us in Luke 9 and 18 that here he wanted information. Yeah, yeah. He needed information. information. And yeah. so he turned to his boys and said, whom do men say, 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 I say that I am? Yeah. Yeah. So his ministry is filled with, with need, but the, the part that perplexed me, the part that catches me off guard is the fact that in all that he needs, he seems to have a tendency to depend on the wrong people. Oh, wow. Wow. Lord you, have mercy. You know, you know his disciples, don't you? Yeah. One day when his ministry was starting, he began by the seashore to call men and say, I will make you fishers of men. Yes, sir. But who are these right. men? <laughs> <laughs> who are these fellows that he would choose them these are men who couldn't be trusted. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The record is that he needed to depend on 12. 12. Boy, but Judas had a problem. Yeah. 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 He was in love with money. Yeah. He, he went and did some backroom dealing and yeah. became yeah. the one who sold him out. Yeah. 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 Judas was not alone because James and John had a problem. Oh, wow. yeah, yeah. They were power hungry and they oh, yeah. got an earnest from their mother who came and yeah. said, how God can we arrange it yeah. so that one of my boys can sit on your left and the other sit on your right yeah. Yeah. on the wrong seat. Yes, sir! Because he was depending on yeah. people like Tom. Yeah, yeah. Tom yeah. Struggled with the issue of Finding the balance between faith and fact. Robert! Thomas had a problem because he needed evidence. Yeah. John! Jesus was depending, yeah. I'm telling you, on the wrong kinds of people because yeah. men like Peter yeah. believed he could make it to heaven through cussing and cutting. <laughs> Somehow these <laughs> are the men. Yes, sir! Jesus was more than depending on Free these. John. Yes, sir. He also depended on the crooked Roman courts. Woo, yeah. Lord, have mercy. He placed his faith, his faith. in men like Kai. Man, forgive yeah. my yeah. terrible yeah. He preached, man. placed his faith yes, sir. in men like Pilate. Yes, right? sir, man. Whose wife outdid him in courage. Yeah. Yeah. He placed his faith yeah. in people in yes, the crowd. Sir. Somehow he hoped God. that surely one like Barabbas, who was made an obvious sinner, yes. one who had been guilty of murder, one who everybody knew was a low-down scout, yeah. 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 surely, surely he could win justice against a man like Barabbas. Yeah. Oh, but when the time had come. Yes. Yeah. That a prisoner might be released. Yeah. 
The hope was that somehow they would choose the innocent man. Yeah. He depended on 